Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week here at Hunky Dory TV. My name's Anne Marie, and I'm going to be looking after you uh, for the next hour or so. We've got the lovely Lisa looking after us this morning. How are you? Hi, not so bad. Good. Nice weekend. Lovely weekend. Good. She's been gallivanting all over the country this weekend, haven't you? Leaves, you know, <laughs> gallivanting. Um, and in demonstration station, it is, of course, the fabulous Hi. Stacey. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How I are you? I am. I'm very well, thank you, but I'm very excited. Very excited, but about, okay. About today. Right, a lot of pressure. About, this, about, <laughs> about the show, about all your demos, because it's just going to be fabulous. I'm very excited. Good. I'm slightly nervous because I've done a lot of um, prep. Okay. And Okay. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll I'll be, be fine. fine. We're super excited to have you here. I don't think we've done um, Hunky Dory TV together, have we? No, not for a long time. No. No. Yeah. It's, it's exciting. It is really exciting. Uh, and obviously, Stacey is the brains behind all of our masks, our dyes, our stamps. So she's incredibly talented. Uh, lots and lots of ideas, obviously, when she's kind of coming up with the concepts and things. So it's really good to be able to see Stacey put her ideas actually into the cars. I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, also, I did say on Friday, if you've got any questions for Stacey, get them in. Now's your opportunity, get your questions in and we'll quiz her, not while she's demoing, because <laughs> we don't want to put her off. We'll find nice little spots to quiz her. But yeah, if you've got any questions at all, please do get them in. Um, so we have got brand new for the Love of Mass today. If you saw them yesterday on Hobby Maker, I'm sure you will agree they are absolutely stunning. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous to look at anyway, but when I saw the makes that the team had done, I was just completely blown away with how beautiful they are. So I know you guys are going to love them as well. And of course, we do have those incredible Decalage cards that everyone was after on Friday. They are here today, so do not worry. So shall we get started and have a look at this week's Win It Weekly? There's so much love for you already, Stacey, in the comments. Oh, everyone's thanks, like, oh, everyone. it's so lovely to see Stacey again. Nice to see Stace. See? We'll just make her a permanent addition now. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, would you like to win this pop up boxes concept card kit? Makes 12 pop up boxes. Uh, absolutely beautiful artwork. We have six lucky winners this week. Six winners. How amazing is that? It's worth £14.99, but you need to answer our question correctly. Oh, the Stained Glass Knight was the very first CGI animated character for what live action film? Was it A, Jurassic Park, B, Gladiator, or C, Young Sherlock Holmes? Let us know what you think the answer is. Uh, Jurassic Park was on last night when Mark was flicking through like the channels and we discovered last night it was 30 years old this year. Wow. I know. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, that is mad because I remember watching it when I was little as well. So that is it's crazy, crazy isn't it? It's how years. fast that time has gone. Yeah, it's it's absolutely bonkers. Uh, so let us know what you think the answer is. I, I don't know. I have a feeling, I'm, I, I think I know which one it is because I've, it's the only one I've not seen. I think. I think I'd probably be the same. I've watched two of them, but yeah. I've not watched one of them, so yeah. I'm just going to have to go with that one. We're just going to have to go with that one. <laughs> but you let us know what you think the answer is, and we will pick six lucky winners on Friday's show. Okay, are you ready to take a look at the most stunning cars you've ever seen? told you dinner absolutely gorgeous i love them so much love 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 okay so we have got for you two layering mask sets okay so the way that these are designed um i'll let stacy show us when we go over to demo properly because i don't want to open these ones um <coughs> excuse me but they come with four masks in the set and they will create stunning cards like this they are absolutely gorgeous so so easy to use as well every mask is labeled so you can't go wrong. It's nice and easy to do. All you need to do is grab the colours of your inks that you want to use. Do we have a colour guide in here, Stace? Yeah, would you like this one? Oh, that'll be ace. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Look at this. Oh, she's so good. Look. There we go. So you've got your colour guides. 
you've got all your masks. I love the packaging on this, Stacey, as well. It's so well thought through, isn't it, with the little pocket? I spe specifically wanted <laughs> the, um, the little pocket because, as we know, masks can be a little bit delicate, especially yeah. some detailed ones. So the, the folder just keeps it nice and um, secure and safe. You know, when it's put in your boxes and yes. stuff like that, it's not going to get damaged. Well, this is just like the perfect storage, isn't it? You can you don't need anything else now. You've got it no. in here. You've got that pocket that's going to keep them nice and safe and secure. You've got your colour guide in here as well. You've got your instructions over this side as too. So that is everything that you need. And it comes so beautifully packaged. So they're five by five in size. So you can grab your layering flowers in bloom which is £10.80 if you are a diamond member and then the other set we have for you is the gorgeous peacock butterfly look at that my favorite um part of this has to be though just that watercolor background one that sits behind the butterfly i love I that it's so clever isn't it it looks really really cool um and again you're going to get the four different masks in there um i mean just look at what it creates so gorgeous isn't it again that's going to come with the little pocket £10.80 for that one as well but of course we have a multi-buy for you uh, the multi-buy price is normally £20 which would save you £4 anyway but if you're a diamond member that drops down to £18 that's saving you £6 off the full retail price which is just crazy isn't it um so £9 each they're basically dropping down to Tools for life as well, obviously looking after them, taking care, giving them a, a good wash once you've used them as well, just to make sure that they don't get ruined. And they're going to last you for absolutely ages. Let me show you some of the makes. Stacey, let me pass that back to yeah. you first. Thank you. Before it gets lost. Look at some of these. Oh, look at this one. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. That is the kind of card that you probably wish you could find on the high street it is so gorgeous isn't it look at the colors of that one that's been used as well and even though we've got that color guide in there it doesn't mean you have to stick to that color guide it's just to give you an idea if you're not quite sure you have that guide there but if you want to go and do your own colors look how different that one looks compared to this one absolutely stunning aren't they so gorgeous and i love this idea as well this one is so cute and um, this one's from sharon and she's just done i mean they look like background papers they do they're so professional aren't they and those colors are just absolutely divine yeah like the th three colorways this one just i just complement each other yeah perfectly. i love that middle one it's got such a vintage feel to it hasn't it gorgeous absolutely stunning so that is your florals let me show you some of the um the butterfly makes here as well we have that one here from cat i love how she's used um just one of the masks there to create the background as well it is so beautiful. Uh, this one is from Barbara, giving it that little bit of a crafty feel. Um, and again, I mean, I don't even know what she's used here. We've got some like metallic inks on here. Yeah, could you silver. Could use your um, pearlescent powders? You could use your pearlescent yeah. powders, yeah, definitely. Especially if you did it with like um, that background with like Versamark. Yeah. Oh, that looks so cool, wouldn't it? Really nice. This one here from uh, Jessica love the colors there as well and then this one oh, is just incredible from cat there um it is just gorgeous this one was on the top of the pile and it's been catching my eye all morning while we've been in here it is so beautiful but again really quite simple you know it's nothing really kind of fancy there um it's just the the technique isn't it it's incredible okay stacy i'm very excited okay we're coming to you <laughs> So I set myself a challenge. Okay, as you do. I, as you do, yeah. <laughs> as you do when there's already challenging things on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is obviously my second show in a long time. So, you know, a lot of pressure. No, you're um, fine. I believe there's three different types of, um, three different sizes of decolletage. Yes. Like. So I thought, five by five masks, let's make a card with each size so Ooh. we can show different ways of using the mask okay. as well. So if you watch Kat's um, show on Hobby Maker yesterday, she did an absolutely amazing job of showing these off. Um, so I'll quickly run through um, some hints and tips and then we'll get straight into the demo. So inside here, as Anne-Marie's already said, you get your four masks, tells you how to clean them. It gives you the step-by-step -step color guide of where you color in as well. So like this one has two colors on it. It gives you a little sample of um, colors. Use your color wheel 
and change yes. these colours. These would be perfect with your colour wheel because you can then get your complementary colours and um, all your different types of tones in there. So they keep this safe. On the back as well, it also shows you um, that each corner, these two corners, have like a little, little cutout section. And this is going to be great for your alignment. So when you place them on and you just want to use them as they are, you put a little pencil mark in each corner and then you can align each one in that corner. So you, so can't you know go that wrong. If, if that's the wrong way, because it's not lining up, they've all got the same one. The other thing is that in, in every corner there's a little etched letter. Now it can be quite hard to see because they are just etched, so you could get a tiny little permanent men, uh, pen and just go over that if you wanted to. Um, but each one is is labelled so you know which way round it is as well. So that is the basics of using the mask. Okay. So I've gone in with this already because I also wanted to show you how to tile them. Um, because this flower one does tile. So oh. I've already gone in with my four colours which shows you exactly how to do it in this. So, so you're not going to miss out on anything, you just follow the instructions in here. So we've already started with this like peachy tone rather than a white just to give it a little bit more um so it's not as harsh basically yeah. so what we're going to do is if i remember which way around i did it i think sure i did it <laughs> that way so this is my a my a is in this top corner i've already lined it up here no i haven't definitely did it that way so you can see mm -hmm. this way and my a is in this top corner so all i'm going to do is move it up so let's move that down and then you can see very easily where your flower is lining up with these previous flowers. Yes. So then all you need to do is tape that down. Amazing. And then we'll get inking. So now, does it tile left to right as well? It does. <gasps> and we, we've got another demo that does show um, that as well. Just because so, I did, I know tiling can be quite difficult. Yeah. So I just wanted to show it. I think it's hard to explain without actually showing it. I exactly. Think that, yeah. that can be the thing. If you don't understand kind of like the terminology or what we mean uh, that's where it can become a, di a bit difficult so our first layer is our petal pink and obviously if you haven't got these ink pads you definitely need to get them and you definitely need to get the little new circles for the yes. bottom that's great right so we're going to ink this and i'm using my big blending tool if you want to you can mask off this area so you don't get ink anywhere yeah i would have to I'm do just, that i'm just gonna <laughs> use the edge of it i'm way too messy oh, this color layer, is so nice this layer is quite an easy layer because there's not that much detail they're quite big quite open chunky. shapes um but when we get to other the other layers i'll give you some tips okay just so then your um your little sponge doesn't get caught basically okay because they can be a little bit sharp can't they yeah on the masks i get that and then um the other thing is you can use your finger daubers if you want to we don't currently have those in oh, stock but no. we don't talk about that okay Stacey. we don't talk about that nope sorry yeah he uh, so dan said to me the other day he's like uh, these are out of stock. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, it's your fault. <laughs> and he's like, well, I didn't know they were out of stock. And I was like, oh, everyone else did. Oh, dear. But yeah, it was genuine. Like, it was like, like I, a shock. It was my fault. I was like, eh. <laughs> so now we are going to find our B stencil, which is, I think you're pretty sure it's this one. Yeah. Make sure your B's the right way around as well, because you can obviously do it this way. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to line this up again and you can kind of see where yeah. you're lining it up because you're lining it up with the previous inked bit and also the which bit you've inked here yeah so even though you've got these alignment corners which does make it easy it is pretty easy because you can see through through I guess those it, masks it's going to depend on the the mask and the actual design isn't it some will be easier yeah. than others definitely yeah. yeah so we're going to go in with our hot pink had this time nice um if you wanted to use this we're going to cut this down which Ooh. is why we're going off this sheet but if you wanted this nice border you can obviously put masking tape underneath oh yeah 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 to mask it off oh 
and this is just a really nice pink that complements the, um, the the pink petal slightly darker so it gives you that um, almost like a detailed shadow look yeah which is exactly what we want this this layer gives it that shadow of the of the flowers basically it's amazing what a difference it can make like you say it's it's not a a massive kind of color change but when you see the difference look at that it's amazing isn't it so you can just see that the two tones just work perfectly together and what would you recommend to use to, to like clean your mask day? Um, so I've brought in baby wipes. Yeah. Um, just because there isn't a sink right next to me. Yeah. But if, <laughs> if I was at home, I'd probably just go to the sink, use a bit of um, soapy water and yeah. that, that's it. Basically, if you just run it under, you don't even need to really rub them. No, no. Because the no. ink just falls off. Yeah, because that's they're water-based they sinks. Are. Yeah. So then our next layer is going to be our leaves. So on the packaging, it says use the pear green, which is a really nice green. I think it's one of my favourite greens, this one. I love the pear green. It's it's one of those, it was, I wasn't immediately drawn to it, but it has definitely grown on me. Um, Jackie's asking if you could use coloured pencils with these masks. You can. So um, you could use uh, your pencils you could use watercolor pencils you could instead of blending it through you could simply just ink yes. that through if yeah. you want a strong color um, and then we're actually also going to do a demo using our brush markers <gasps> as well no. so i just wanted to show you exactly oh my goodness what you can do with these i'm very excited not everybody may be confident with the um with the inks but maybe you've got the pens already yeah Oh, she is treating us today, everybody. Very excited. So make sure that you've got enough ink on. Keep inking your pads because yeah. the more ink that you ink through is going to give you a sharper yes. edge. So if you don't have enough ink, it's fine. You'll just get a different effect. It just won't give you that the, the sharp edges that you get. It's almost a little like kind of blurred, isn't it, around yeah. the edges? Yeah, I get that. Which is, it, it's really nice for some some effects that you want to do. And I guess you could go in with your watercolour pencils at that point and kind of sharpen it up. You could, yeah, you could go um, around the edges. Yeah, or your, your fine liner on your brush markers. Oh my goodness, Stace, this is looking so amazing already. So I'm just lining that up again with the previous ink. How easy is this? What I mean, how long have we been on this demo now? About five minutes. Yeah. Look how quick that's come together. So our final layer has two colours. And the reason why it has two colours is because it's got the the leaf layer. Yeah. But it's also got the flower centres. Oh, okay. So we're actually going to go in with our things that we can't talk about. <laughs> I mean, obviously everyone, everyone <laughs> has these at home, so it's Hopefully fine. Hopefully you've already got them at yeah, home. Yeah, it is fine, but we, it's just a bit of a sore subject in the office, I know. is all. I just know. in the office. But this is where they're absolutely amazing for this job. Look at them. Yeah. And if, if not, it is fine. You can, um, you can just ink through all in one colour if you want to, and then just add in your darker colour because they are centres. Yeah. You're practically going in with such a dark colour, you're not going to see that green if you wanted to ink through it all first. And what you could do is cut one of your little sponges up. You could, and you could also just mask it. Yes. Just use, yeah. tan, you know, those even little just, bits of scraps that yeah. you've got lying around, even your stamping sheets, yeah. you know, your mask sheets. Or even if you have like, um, like little scraps of your stickables, I, I use a little bit to hold one of my dies down the yeah, other day, you know, there's, there's always little ways around it, isn't there? So we've got that one and then we're just going to go in with the cocoa bean and this is for our centres so you don't really need that much ink to be honest and you don't definitely don't need to press on that that hard because it's so juicy these ink pads as well. Colleen and uh, Pauline have just both pointed out that your nails look gorgeous and they match your flowers. Oh thanks. <laughs> <laughs> She's so coordinated. And then the final reveal, if I can. Oh my word! Pick it so up. excited! Oh look at that! <gasps> and this will dry a little yes. bit. It's, it's very wet and inky at the moment. Oh my word! Look how beautiful that is, though. So, so now we've got this, and what we're going to do with it? So the first card blank we're going to use is 
our A5 one. Let me. I did bring a card blank in. Yes, I did. There you go. So we're going to use our decal edged A5 card blank. The A5? Checking that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just check it. <clears throat> yeah, A5, 6x6 six six and A6. So we could just stick this on there and it would be a really, really lovely card. But I wanted to make use of this decal edge and make it a little bit more special. So what we're going to do, and I should have asked Anne-Marie before, have we got a scoreboard? Uh, there I should be one just tucked. Is the one yes. there? Yes, there yeah. is. I was going to say, we have more than one in here. You very lucky. just looked and there's like score tools or another story. <laughs> I've got mine. I've brought it. It's fine. I've got bits all over this already. So we're going to do a little fold back. Okay. So we probably want it to go about to here. So we're going to line it up. I'm going Are you to... just winging this? Well, I have got one that I already... No real measurement? No. <gasps> I'm excited. Go on. Oh, okay. No, I'm just well, excited. I felt like I should have... I mean, no. we're just going to go for it. Just winging it. I like that. Probably not even straight, but it's oh, fine. Look at that. That's First quite time. straight. It's quite straight, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. So that's all we need to do okay. for the scoreboard. So I just feel like you're, when you said fold back, that's not what I had in my head. Oh, is it not? No, I, I was like halfway. Do you know when no, you score no, halfway no, and fold back? This, this, nice this is a Stacey Snazzy fold back. Yeah. So okay. we're doing this little fold back. Nice. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our spearmint, which is, a, I love Lush. this colour. Um, and really quickly, I have got one that I prepared earlier, but I will show you. We're going to ink around the edges. Just to give it some colour. Yeah. It's a nice colour, isn't it, that? Add as much or as little as you want. And then what you want to do is go round all of this area mm -hmm. all of this area yeah and all of this area okay and it'll make sense in a minute yeah so i've done that because you don't want me you don't want to watch <gasps> me inking all that. look how cool that looks so you can see i've inked all inside as well and just like that i would be happy with that i'm easily pleased <laughs> <laughs> like a sentiment on done <laughs> so inside we're gonna add the white layer just to bring it out. Nice. Bring the same coloured peach <gasps> that we've already used. We're going to just matte and layer that. Love I'm this. Use this because it's my new favourite thing ever. Oh my goodness me too. Because I don't have to stress over trying to get the tape off. I did, I did say to um, did I say to Natalie the other day, I feel a bit sad for my double sided tape though. It's just abandoned just in the bottom there. of my box. <laughs> so. And then that one day that I'll need it. Like when I don't have a refill with me, it'll be really troublesome and won't yeah. let me get the back enough, won't You'll it? You'll just forget how to use it. Yeah. No, it has its place. I used it. I actually used it in one of my preps yesterday, my um, double-sided tape. Did you? I did. Is it because you don't have a tape runner at home? No, no, no. I took my tape runner. Oh, that looks so nice. So then that has that little pop of colour. And this is going to go <sighs> underneath. So what I would do is line it up where you want it because I've already got the white mat as well. So it's actually going to sit like this. And you probably should have masked that off, but well, you'll get the idea. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pencil. If I brought one, I have. I'm probably going to stick this down first, you know. It's like probably safer. Idea. Yeah. Uh, is that um, from our colour block pads? It is. I've, I've written down which one it is. It is our neutrals, neutrals. and pastels. So I think the white is from the yeah. neutrals because I didn't really want to use my ink me no, when I had the sense. white. Yeah. Um, and then this peach colour is from the pastels. Cute. That still is a little bit wet. <laughs> make it work. So line it up where you're actually going to mat it on this part and then we're just going to pencil mark it here and here where the fold is. Yes. And we're going to get our trimmer. That we're peach is popping so much now you put it onto that white. We're going to just line it and we're going to just cut it underneath. Yeah. So we don't see that pencil mark and it's going to be slightly shorter. 
trim that all the way. And you can see I should have probably masked this off. But you can do that at It'll home. be fine. So we're going to get our card blank. And then this is going to sit underneath. Oh. Like this. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So let's stick this on. Have we got any questions yet, Amory? Uh, there are no questions yet. Not that I've no seen questions. anyway. Not that I've seen. I have had a little okay. look through the comments. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions for Stacey, please do ask. And it doesn't have to be about this. It could be about dyes. It could be yeah, you know, ideas that you might have. Yeah, definitely. Any, anything that that's an, under Stacey's department. Dye stamps, masks. Uh, always any questions yeah. welcome if there's anything you'd like to see um, definitely just um, just suggest it because you know we do make things happen we do um, absolutely Somebody asked for eggs and we made nested we eggs. made nested eggs and I would just like to yeah. point out that we were mocked we were we were mocked we were. in the office for our nesting eggs <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna tell you how smug we were <laughs> So I stuck this down just using a foam pad so you have that really nice shadow Love underneath. Love that. Which and you've got then... that decollage as well. It's gorgeous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really, really nice. So this is why I wanted to use that fold back so that you still get that decollage. So then you can actually use this because it's almost like a template for this part. So you can trim ah. that down and use that as a guide for your mat and layer for this. Amazing. So I've just gone in with the white again and the blue. You could just ink around all that if you wanted to in blue. I just wanted that white edge. I don't know why I'm using that one. I've made a mess already. It's only my first demo. We have a question okay. from Colleen. She has asked, how long have you been uh, crafting, Stacey? It's my first time seeing you and I'm loving it. Um, so I have been drawing and crafting and all sorts of different types of crafting since I was probably about two. My mum actually has a t-shirt of um, when I was about one or two, I just scribbled a lot of uh, colours on a page and my dad um, actually got it put on a t-shirt oh, for my really mum. So that, that's how long it's been. Uh, making cards, I'm, I'm going to guess virgin on about 10, 12 years because I did it just before. Yeah. A couple of years before I started here as well. So. And how long have you been here now, Stace? Um, eight years. <gasps> Yeah. Hasn't that gone it's fast? It's flown by, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It goes so quick. Right. So, we've got this. We need a sentiment and we probably need a little bit of embellishments. <gasps> so, I've already oh my goodness, Stacey. gone in with the um, Moonstone Minis, which is possibly one of my favourite sentiments. Just, I like how um, simple it is, but yeah. also how big it is as well. Like, it says Minis, but because you've got those two layers of text it's actually quite a nice focal point it is definitely and then i've gone in exactly the same but i've done it on a little bit of white as well so then we could bring in the white from the border and we have loads of different pieces we're probably not going to use them all i've already put foam pads on them and then oh my we can word. just decorate this edge then this looks amazing <sighs> love it um Louise has asked, is there a possibility of having a, a today die? I have several sets of numbers dies, but would like to be able to add the word today. So it reads six today, for example. Yeah, we can look at that. Yeah, definitely look at that, can't we? Yeah. Um, and then Susan is asking, I was wondering if Stacey would consider bringing out birth, birth flower dies. It would be great if she could. We will add it to the list. Definitely. And there you go. Oh my word. How stunning does that look? Well, it's just that deckle edge that you get on that fold back as well, which I yeah. really wanted to show. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank you so it. much, Stacey. It is beautiful. Okay, Lisa, you need to keep your eye on the questions now. Okay. <laughs> no right. pressure. Talking of those deckle edge cards, let's show you all of the options that we have available for you. So we have the multi buy, which has got 30 card blanks in. 30 envelopes, so 10 of each size. I will show you them properly in a second. Uh, £11.99, which is a crazy price anyway for 30 cards and envelopes, but your diamond price is just £10.79. Absolutely crazy price for 30 cards and envelopes. Let me show you 
how pretty this deckle edge is. Now you have kind of seen it, obviously, on the card that Stacey's already made for us, but look how delicate that is. It is such a, a soft, subtle deckle because we didn't want it to be too much. We didn't want it to be the focus. It is a, a lovely kind of added feature to your card blanks. We wanted it so that you could still matte and layer with your straight edges on top of here, but oh, you can of course use all of your torn edges as well. They do have that slight deckle edge to them. So it is absolutely perfect, no matter what you're using on top of here. You can ink onto here, you can stamp onto here. They are, of course, our 300 GSM Ink Me cardstock. So you're gonna get 10 of your A5 and your matching envelopes. You're also going to get 10 of your six by six, which are just beautiful. We're just putting them on the pink here so you can see that really beautiful decal edge. It is so, so stunning. I love it. Um, and of course, your envelopes as well. And then you're also going to get 10 of the A6 size, which again is just really, really versatile. Um, perfect for kind of your smaller makes but just gorgeous with that decal. We absolutely love it. These were so popular on Hobby Maker on Thursday and I know you guys were desperate for them on Friday. Um, so they are here today and you can add them to your order. £11.99, £10.79 if you are a Diamond member. Now you can also get them individually. If you want a particular size, you can just get them individually. So if you want to get the A6, you can get 10 of these for £4.50. So this is where you can see the value of that, that bundle of, of 30, because 10 is £4.50. You can get 10 of your A5 and 10 of your 6x6, and they're all £4.50 each. But obviously that value is, are they not? Oh, sorry, oh my goodness. <laughs> Start again, right, £4.99 for your, 450 start again for your a6 <laughs> a5 is five pound 50 oh my goodness that value is crazy then isn't it and then 499 for your six by six oh that it's even it's even better value that 1199 i thought they were all 50 450 each and i was like well that's that's really good value because that's still way more than you'd be paying for the multi-buy um so make sure you just grab the mega buy that's going to get you 10 of each size for 1199 bonkers and then to go with that we have got our torn edge nesting dies so let me grab all of those for you so these are 19 pounds 99 each because they are our bigger dies but they are also in the multi buy of any two for 34.98 yes. yes see how sure we both were then <laughs> um so you've got your torn edge squares or well, 17.99 if we're diamond member We've got our torn edge circles. We've got nine dies included in that one. Uh, we've got our torn edge ovals. I should really show you the other side because look at them. They're absolutely mega. You've got nine in your ovals. We have got the vintage label, which has got eight included in there. And I love that we've, we've still got that torn edge, but it's gonna give us a really neat matte and layer. Like if you try to recreate a matte and layered torn edge you just wouldn't be able to get it right and even though these aren't all exactly the same you can see that the they're a little bit different it's still going to give you a neater finish and then you've also got your fancy label as well so i'll just turn that one around so you can see the metal because you get so much for your money with these dies they are really really good size perfect for making your actual car blanks as well if you wanted to um, they are just amazing uh, and any two for £34.98. We also have for you uh, our perfect verses. So we have got um, <laughs> the foiled paper pad on oh, foil paper pad two. Oh my goodness the first one doesn't say foiled so I thought it was just the printed one. Um, 192 verses in total. £4.99? That's not right on here, is it? No. Look at your screen. Don't look at our that's card. Jess, is, Jess, is she here? <laughs> no, that's why oh, I'm I'm going to say I haven't seen her yet today, but she's not here anyway, so we'll blame her for everything that goes wrong today. Yeah. It's all Jess's fault. Um, we love our perfect verses because 
there's just so much you can do with these. We can obviously chop into them. We can chop them up exactly as they are with our trimmer, but we can use our dies. We can use uh, just our scissors. We can cut the words out and remake those verses up if we want to. But you're gonna get them foiled in gold, foiled in silver, 24 different verses in total. Um, so it's giving you 192 verses all together. Um, it is just amazing value. So that is our original. And then we have the second one that we brought you uh, fairly recently as well. I feel this one. I feel like it's not that old. But again, jam packed with such a variety of different occasions. We've got birthday. Thank you. Good luck. Congratulations. Get well. Um, we've got sympathy in here, um, just kind of general because cards, you know, it is just wonderful. Uh, just, just, again, crazy value. £8.99 for a diamond member for 192 verses. You can use them on the front of your cards, you can use them on the inside of your cards. And just because they're paper, you can obviously use your ink pads and things like that to add some colour to them as well. So that is your two... Um, Perfect versus pads. Uh, we've got some cards. I wasn't sure what the cards were for then, uh, <laughs> if I'm quite honest. I was like, hey, it's a very mixed bag. <laughs> it's because of the deck of ledge cards. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that stamp's lovely, isn't it? It's just that deck of ledge. Like, it just adds another level Doesn't of, it? like, it's almost like texture without it being texture. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? And this one as well. So going straight on to that deck of ledge card. That looks so sweet, doesn't it? Oh, my word. I love this one as well. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Using it with your straight mats and layers as well. So Because that one had a perfect verse on. And then I looked at this one and I was like, oh, but what's that one? <laughs> <laughs> all decal edge, Amory. It's all decal edge. Oh, I love that. Oh, my word. Look at this little guy as well from our adorable animals. I mean, who doesn't love a guinea pig on a card? So cute. This one, creating a little easel. It's very sweet, isn't it? Um, I'm saving that one to last because it's my favourite. And then this one. Look at this. Just look how beautiful that this is. This is one of my favourites as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I love it, yeah. It is stunning. And that is just two die sets. We, our wildflowers, uh, Bex used these just the other week. Um, and we were saying then how like underrated they are. Yeah. They're just amazing, aren't they? And just a couple of scores there as well. And then your nesting uh, torn edge dies in the middle. It is just gorgeous. We love, love, love. Uh, okay. Stacey, we're coming back to you. Okay. Card number two means card size number two. Yes. So we're going in with our A6. And we've actually got two card blanks because we're going to make, we're going to turn it into a gatefold. Okay. Which I'm a little bit scared about, but I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's more just the aligning, alignment, but we'll be fine. We'll make be it fine. work. I made it work at the weekend when I tried it. So we're going to go in with our scoreboard, right, so if anyone doesn't know, A6, half of A6 is five and a half, no it isn't, it's 5.25, <laughs> it's because I've written down, score at five and a half. I'm going to say, do not ask me, Stacey. <laughs> yeah, we can't math, we're rubbish at that. Use your centimetre side, five and a half just is probably slightly too big so what I would do is just nudge your card blank over a tiny bit and then score, score at five and a half. You've got to, with A6, A5, you've just got to kind of do it by eye haven't you? Yeah. And then you want to do the same, so you're only scoring one, one half of the card blank. We're going to nudge it over again, five and a half centimetres this is, just to make sure. get rid of that this is going to be our base so we're going to fold that over and then we're going to fold this back on itself and burnish it and then we're going to do the exact same because this is going to sit in there we're going to burnish this do you have our new uh, crafty burnishing tool in your toolbox today 
I don't. No, we'll have to get I you on. I need to add that. Yeah, we need to get you on. I have brought my entire box uh, Everything in. you own. Yeah, um, <laughs> because obviously I'm not quite up to speed as to where everything is in, in all these trolleys. No, well, I'm not, Stace, and I'm in here no. quite regularly. <laughs> yeah. So then this creates this really nice gatefold with that deckle edge as well. And you can do this with any card blank size. So you can do this with your tent folds and create yeah. a really wide, um, you know, like almost wide card Like blank. a really landscape one. Yeah. yeah. Which would probably be, be almost impossible to find on the high street. I like that this is, I, I would call this like a fold back gatefold, you yeah. know, rather than like a traditional yeah. Yeah, one that just opens. It's, it, it's more substantial. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to stick this inside and I would probably use red liner tape just because it's the base but we're gonna we're gonna wing it it'll be fine hopefully I've not pressed it down yet but oh yep there you go and you've got already your card blank Gorgeous. and you can trim this off if you wanted it to obviously I've yeah. just stuck it in for ease and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our butterfly masks because we're going to do half and half. <gasps> Ooh, so again, I love this already. A little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one half at a time. So open it out again. I would use your chunky um, masking tape because we're not going to want any ink on this bit. And we're literally just going to line it up with the score line to mask that off. And it just means no colour will bleed onto there and we're going to yeah. do exactly the same on this side. Lots of people lo uh, like a gatefold card. So this is where your A3 mask or your messy mat is perfect. Yeah. Because what you can do is tape this down and you can actually do both halves at the same time. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you have a center going all the way through that butterfly and it's much easier to do it on this one on your mask d it is so i would get a pencil line up this center of the butterfly with the masking tape that you've just done place it where you want it to sit so i'm probably going to want it in the center so you want an even top and bottom you can measure it if you want to i'm just going to do it by eye and then as an alignment, we're going to just draw pencil lines all the way across the top. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side. So aligning top and bottom, so it's central. Align in the centre with the masking tape and draw your alignment lines. And don't worry because you are going to cut this off. Okay. So you don't need to worry about that. You can do okay. it with a pen if you want to. So let's get, let's get inking. So we're going to go in with mask A, which is this one. And we're going to just follow the colours from the packaging again. So we're going to use our peachy. It's nice and chunky, isn't it, this one? And um, I managed to destroy your... Because um, these are Amory's inks. I stole them at the weekend. And I managed to destroy your... Um, oh, my little sponge, did you? Yeah, your little sponge. Yeah, it's all right. I think I was a bit heavy handed. We've with got it. plenty of them. So you're going to align that mask top and bottom again. And then it has got a center point. It's got almost like a little body in the center of your mask here. We're just going to ink one side so I can show you exactly how it layers up. Yeah. But what I would do is ink this and then ink that. Yeah. And then do the next mask. And then do, yeah. So this bit, this is what I was saying about some masks have a tiny little bit of movement in them. So rather than circular motions, I would ink like this. Oh, like press and twist? Yep. New technique. Press and twist. You don't have to be really hard with it because you can layer that ink up. Yeah. And then the rest, the rest of it is fine, I think. You can just ink... Um, in lines as well you don't have to do circular motions whichever way you think works amazing and you don't need to be too um you don't need to cover all of this because this is actually a base and most of it gets covered up oh, okay 
you'll you'll see what happens in a second. So then nice. what I would do if I was doing it, which is what I did at home, is then do this size because I've already got my inks out, I've already yeah. got my mask out. Do both sides. But we're gonna just for ease and time move on to our next colour, which is our electric blue. This we base this on a um, peacock butterfly. So that's why you've got those vibrant colours. But you can obviously make this whatever colour you want to. Yeah, definitely. Um, Kat yesterday did some really nice pink tones. Did she? It was absolutely stunning, the pink oh, one. I haven't had a chance to watch a show back yet. I'm very excited. So again, aligning the top and the bottom with those pencil marks. You've got a, you, you can see that on the screen. It's like um, a cut out part of the body. So you're just aligning that with the centre again and you're inking through and this is mask B really quick and easy do the other side then we're going in with mask C if I get it the right way around so this one again is slightly different because it has two colours it has your red pastel which is your butterfly part and then you have your spearmint which is your background part Okay. Now, if I was doing it on a normal card, I would probably use a little bit of masking tape and mask the butterfly area. Or be really careful and use your little finger daubers, just so then you can get that two tones of colour without yeah. it merging. For this card, we don't need to worry about the background colour. So we're just going to go in with the red pastel. Again, aligning top and bottom, aligning that body. And we only really need the body part of it, so you don't need to ink all of it. The colours are just so vibrant, aren't they? They look amazing. It's amazing as well that these ink pads are layered. So you've, you're you using the red yes. and the peach, yeah. and you're still getting that really strong red colour. The fact that they... And they, they do create like a slightly different tone as well, which is really nice, because then you get a whole other sort of world of colour that colour look at that so you can see that this bit would be the background yeah so I would just ink that if you're doing a normal standard card but obviously we like to do things differently here <laughs> why would we just you know go with the norm I know so our last layer it's almost like the magic layer i love this it is when, all the detail yeah this is my favorite like whenever we do any layering things and it all boils yeah. down to that last layer so this this is like oh it's just like a bit of spodgy color do you know what it looks like <laughs> you know when you the uh well i haven't but if you go in in films where they show you go and see like a, a psychologist oh and it's and they show like you the cards inks, yeah <laughs> yeah what can you see in this what can you see <laughs> so we're lining that up again top and bottom in the center and then we're going to ink through with that black now yes i'm using the charcoal which is what we've put in the packaging but yesterday um cat used a versafine oh which just adds it it's almost slightly blacker yes it's um, a very intense black isn't it and it also matches sentiments as well so if you're if yes. you're then maybe stamping a, more elements maybe you've got some butterfly stamps maybe you're stamping a sentiment you can use that so you're ready for this because i love this when you take it off look at that look at that <gasps> so when you're doing this at home you would obviously have two sides um completely inked and what we're going to do is i'm going to bring in here's one i did earlier oh she's so good so Here's one <gasps> that I did earlier. Oh so we've already cut this one out. Look at that. And we're going to trim this one out now. Stacey, I can't you, cope. You can use scissors. Oh, look at that. I've just got a big black mark on it. Oh, this is what happens. It's fine. We're going to cover it. Make sure your mat's clean. Look at my fingers. Well. Yeah, yeah. I'm so messy. Yeah, we all are. Well, are, are you not having fun if you're not messy? That's then? the rules. I know. It is the rules. Right. Let's cut this out. So I learned yesterday because I cut out 
I cut along these two first, I cut along the score lines and then cut it out. Bad idea. Only because it was an absolute nightmare trying to cut around this. Because Did you do that with your scissors? I did. <laughs> did you? Uh, so it's a craft knife job for me, that, all no. day, every day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the actual butterfly out first. So at least yeah. I did that first. You know, tried and tested now. Yeah, she's shown you the best way to do this now. Cut off bits. That's the other thing. Cut off bits. You don't need yeah, the whole don't, thing. I, I always find this. Right, it's harder when there's more cardstock around, isn't there? It? Is. So anything you can yeah. kind of cut off, get it cut off. Cut it off. Be gone. So I'm going to cut around this and we're going to cut off that background that we that we inked. We don't need this bit. Get right so this is exactly there. why you didn't need to worry about where you were inking. Exactly, yeah. So this is where your craft knife would probably be easier, but... Not everybody uses a craft knife. No, this is true. This is true. So you, your actual mask is slightly smaller than this panel, but what's really nice is because you've got that deckle edge. It looks, it looks like, like it. the butterfly. <gasps> so you don't even so need to clever. shape it. You don't get that sharp edge like you would if you were using a standard card. Yeah. Blank. Faye has said, a, mess, a messy crafter is a happy crafter. Exactly. This is very true. I try and tell this to my partner all the time because our flat they is don't just understand, full Stacey. of just boxes and boxes of craft stuff. And then if I'm crafting, there's just stools and all sorts. They just don't understand. You, you can't contain it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> when I first moved in with Ashley, um, I... <laughs> I had more boxes of craft stuff than I did of my Actual normal possessions. Stuff. I think I had about eight boxes of wool. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're just going to trim along our score line. And this is the thing that. as well. I don't know about any of you guys at home, but I feel if you're a crafter, you're not fixed to one craft. No, you're not. You want you to like try everything. You to try everything and you definitely um, give everything a go at least once. You do. <laughs> And then you just collect everything. <laughs> oh my okay. goodness, Stacey, this looks so incredible. This is how that comes together. And you've got, because you've got that that lift, it just gives that extra dimension. And I, I would be happy if you just finished there. I love that so much. Well, we're going to make it pop a little bit Oh my more. goodness. So I've gone in with our bright paper. Nice. Because we've got that deckle edge, what I've done is actually torn along the um, trimmer, which we're going to oh, show you. yeah. But also, we've inked, it's very, very subtle, but we've used our floral oh, yeah. mask <gasps> and we've inked. So I'm going to show you how to do that. <sighs> so this, these bits are going to be our panels, which again, it makes oh, that colour just pop. Look how good your tearing line. looks next to that decal as well. I know, because you've got that white edge as well. So we're going to cut, trim this down first. Um, trimmer, trimmer, trimmer. Oh, you buried it. I say trimmer, but... Well, not actually trimming it. So I did write it down so I didn't forget. No, I didn't. I didn't even write it down. What? I didn't write my down my measurements. So it is just over five and a half. Okay. Now, don't just go in and do five and a half because I did that and ruined about three pieces of paper because I realised that I needed torn edge on both ends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> so it doesn't matter which end you start with but just tear a little bit off a little bit off you are going to get a little bit of wastage with tearing it's inevitable isn't exactly. it exactly so five and a half i would probably just mark it so then you roughly know where it is because then you're going to have to move it along if i was really good with maths i could probably work it out but i'm not and then you've got your two mats like this then we're going to go in with our flower mask from our other set, which I did clean and I put it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere safe. And we're going to use our mask A, which is those really nice sort of like chunky flowers. Amazing. And we are going to use, I did use it, inked with peachy, which is the same colour that you use on the base layer of you. Oh yeah. So it all coordinates. It does. Bless you, Lisa. I think I saw the hiccup then. This, <laughs> this um, paper is from our Colour Blocks uh, Brights. Brights. This is why you need them all. 
you do I, I took them all home and yeah. got, grabbed one of each I took hope, them all home I hope everybody took full advantage of those in was it diamond deals Lisa the yeah, colour blocks is it <gasps> Stacey grab them I'm not joking you they're £4 each no it's way it's insane £4 each this we were saying this on it was either Thursday or Friday we were like just get them all don't just don't leave them four pounds each is it just brights and pastels? Yeah. Right, brights and pastels, which we've well, used. I mean, we've used brights. Yeah. And um, I've used pastels in the previous one. I mean, four pounds. Like two for ten pounds. Yeah, the others are. I mean, let's be honest. They're two for ten pounds normally. So, even if you're not a diamond member, which oh, come on, just do it. You will not regret it. Um, it it's crazy. Um, we had Angela because we missed something off your uh, rep repertoire of skills uh, okay wire templates oh yes we missed that yeah, off we did, didn't we yeah. stacy is the creator of our wire templates as well uh, and angela has said i created a wire tulip flower with leaves yesterday i loved it oh amazing we love that remember to send it in because yes um, please do and has a little um, thing in the magazine doesn't she yes yeah we love to see your makes and um, because this is slightly longer we're just tiling it again it's really easy to tile because you've already got that chunky flower and it'll be quite forgiving as well this it one is, if you yeah, don't get it quite, quite right. right louisa said i'm new to using masks i'm loving all the extra hints and tips and i'm still a bit scared of them don't be scared don't be scared it's only ink and paper so you've got this slight gap let me just lift it you've got this ever so slight gap here because of the way the mask is so yeah. i would just go in just add a few with more. a random flower and make your own pattern amazing because you can yeah you, you can just use the one mask and make a pattern love it let's not not get the masks mixed up <laughs> which we probably will do today so let's go back to our card blank so we've got the larger one for inside and it just covers up those workings as well yeah if you wanted to so let's and then I haven't actually picked a sentiment for this. Have you not? I was thinking, I didn't have one at home when I was prepping. Perfect verses would fit perfectly. Oh this, my it? goodness, yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether we've got any. Um, don't we? Yeah, on the bookcase, there's loads of stuff on there. If there isn't one there, we can... I think you've just got the printed one there. Printed one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you yeah. want to pick one? Ooh. No pressure. Do you want a printed one or do you want a foiled one? Because I can grab my foiled no, one if you prefer. No, they do the same job, don't they? Yeah. And the black actually um, ties in with the black on the butterfly, so. Uh, this one's Christmas, though. Offer, but... Is it Christmas? Yeah. I'll, okay. go, I'll, go, and get, uh, I'll go and get mine. <laughs> so we're going to carry on with these mats. Just going in with our tape. Fold this back for ease. And it actually covers up that really... Um, the black splodge a little bit that's a little bit too long so what I'm going to do I haven't brought my ruler in I'm just going to tear that this is why the deco edge is so good because you can just go in tear things and it still looks amazing then let's go in with the opposite side Oh, found the perfect one, Stace. Are you going gold? Um, I haven't got any foil, so yeah. It, I it's got the orange. It's quite tall. warm. Yeah. Until you spread your wings, you have no no oh. idea how far you'll fly. Perfect. Right. So what I'm going to do is probably trim it and then mm, yeah, let's just trim it. Are you trimming or are you tearing? No, I'm going to trim it because that's quite close. Mm. But you can, because I did, I did trim it yes, I did um, tear it yesterday, tear yesterday. But we have got another demo, so okay. Uh, oh gosh, you'll be coming back to me soon, won't you? I forgot I had to do another part. I was, I'm just completely engrossed, Stacey. <laughs> Job's not over yet. No. So you you can cut this to any size, but I'm just going to go here, and then you can write top and bottom. Yes. Um, that is perfect. And there we have it. So you've turned your A6 card blank 
Look into something it. completely different. That is incredible, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Honestly, so much love for everything that you've done, Stace. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, Angela says she's going to be using the flower that she's made with butterflies from the fussy cutting pad. Nice. Also Stacey's. <laughs> yeah, also Stacey's. Uh, yeah, lots of love. Brilliant butterfly, fussy cut, fancy gatefold card. Uh, gorgeous colours too. Uh, what an amazing card. Gorgeous card. Lots and lots of love. Um, there was also a question from Susan. Is it going to be a regular thing, Stacey, on once a week? Thanks. Um, well... We're going to try and bring Stacey in when she's not too busy because she does have a real job that's not this. <laughs> uh, to get Stacey in with your things, I think fits. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, she can do other stuff. I don't, can. It's just don't... that I love messy crafting. Which she does. Yeah. She loves stamps, dies. Yeah. Wiring. You were great with the wiring last week, I believe. Yeah, I love the wire, yeah. Yes. Yeah. My secret little hobby. Yeah, she'll be back. That don't we worry. haven't told my partner about. No, we don't, they don't need to know. <laughs> they don't need to know about all our hobbies. Okay, we have got some um, stamps for you now. So we have got our For the Love of Stamps Essential Overlays. I love these so much. Um, you've got 11 stamps in here, and I love that you can use these together. So if I turn this around so you can see exactly how these have been designed, can you see you've got the big chunky sentiment in the background, and then you've got your kind of um like a script font. like a script that was the word yeah. i was looking for thank you stacy the script font that just sits over the top but you can use them separately as well um but they're just so sweet aren't they there's such a lovely effect so that one there is uh eight pounds seven pound twenty if you're a diamond member and then we also have the flutter by wishes which obviously would be perfect you've seen that on a few of the samples uh, this has worked perfectly with that gorgeous peacock butterfly um really really gorgeous um just such a variety of sentiments. I love all the different fonts that are included in here as well. Um, they are lovely. You've got 10 stamps included in there. Again, just £7.20 if you're a diamond member. That's literally 72p a stamp. I mean, for That's a stamp, amazing. something that you're going to have forever. That is crazy, isn't it? Um, they are, of course, as well, available in that three for two. So we've got two there for you. If you're getting both of those, you can pick another one of our £8 stamp sets completely free of charge as well. So you will pay just £16 for three stamp sets. So that is your stamps that we have for you. We do have some more sentiments. We have our uh, combo dies. Um, so these are all, all £9.99 before yep. I make it up. Yep. I need two for £14.98. <laughs> um, again, these are such a good idea. We use these all the time. I cannot tell you how much these get used because you've got that lovely big chunky die and then you've got so much variety with the stamp set that comes with it. So you can really personalise this uh, and just make it for whatever message you're sending. You've got so many different options. So we've got our thanks. We've got our scent with love and happiness there with the love die and all your different words. You have got your hugs. So cute, that one. I love it. It's just something a little bit different as well, isn't it? We've got our happy. We've got our congratulations. This is probably my most used one. I absolutely love that sentiment. Um, we've got our hooray. Now, these ones are a little bit different because these actually come with three dies in. So you can use those outer dies. Can you see how they don't quite, they don't quite match? So they're two separate dies, the top of that word and the bottom of that word, the outline ones. So you can use those. Um, let me show you to, oh, exactly like that. To cut like a space for that sentiment to sit in. You can use them to cut around the top of your card. Let me get another one. Here we go. Around the top of your card to create a fancy edge. Um, or you can just cut them out and have it as a matte and layer. They're so, so versatile. So you've got the because, you've got amazing, and you've got the hooray in those three, that, that kind of style. Uh, and we have the wishes there as well. Uh, so that is our Moonstone combos, £9.99 each, or any two for £14.98. That's such a good saving, isn't it? And we had the new banner ones as well on Tweet Wishes, which also yep. drop into that multi-buy. So if you wanted to add those, mix and match one of those with this, you can do that as well. Um, and then we are going to just share with you some of our previous um, layering masks. I, I, Stacey, I can't even believe how many times we've had to reorder these. Well, I can. I know. Well, we thought, <laughs> luckily, we thought we, we were sold out. And then I was like, no, I'm, really, I'm pretty sure I've seen a box. I'm going to go and have a look. 
So good job you did. <laughs> good job you did because on our system it said we had like what was it two of this? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm pretty sure we've got, we've got a box. A box. We're gonna go and have a look. <laughs> Uh, so we have got the layering bee and florals. Let me show you that one up close so you can see. You get all of those beautiful florals that just sit in that corner there and then you get that gorgeous little bee as well. But remember, you can switch those florals around. You could just use the florals, just use the bee. You could create yourself a really beautiful little wreath. You could drop them in like two opposite corners. There's just so much versatility. Jump on the website and have a look at the gallery of all the cards that the team made with these ones because they are so beautiful. And this one, don't even get me started on this one. I love this one so much because talk about versatile. You have got so many combinations and ha of how you can put this mask together. Did we work it out how many different combinations there were? I think you did. And I feel I've like slept since then. So I know. I well, I think you worked it out yeah. in the comments. I remember. I want to say 14, but that doesn't feel like a lot. But no, maybe I'm sure it, it was is. more than that. I'm sure it was more than that. Because each one of these is a separate background. So you can use them all together to create that background that's there. Or you could use number um, letters A and C together, or A and B together, or B and D together. You can really mix and match. You can use them all individually. Honestly, I think it's probably endless. It's just so useful. And look how gorgeous that background is. It is stunning. And that's just using like the four different colours. Imagine that just in one colour, or dropping in, say, this one with your embossing powders and having that little bit of a, a gold or silver metallic feel to it honestly you're just going to absolutely love them they're so amazing and they're going to work perfectly alongside the new ones as well um so grab them all while we've got them <laughs> because they're troublesome um and you know honestly you're just going to absolutely love them so much um one it weekly reminder i'm just going to grab the other new ones as well because i've hidden them here they're only here, don't worry. Don't panic, found them. Uh, win it weekly reminder for, I have moved that though. <laughs> here. <laughs> uh, six of our amazing pop-up boxes concept card kits. You need to like, share, and comment your answer to our question. The Stained Glass Knight was the very first CGI animated character for what live action film? Is it A, Jurassic Park? Is it B, Gladiator? Or C, Young Sherlock Holmes? Um, let us know what you think the answer is. And on Friday, we'll be picking six winners. Uh, and then we're going to end with these two brand new beauties that we have brought to you today uh, from the fabulous Stacey. We have got the Layering Blooms and Butterfly multi buy, So you can grab both of these for just £18 if you're a Diamond member. Um, it's just such incredible value. And um, you can be creating some of those gorgeous cards that Stacey's already shared with us. But do not worry, we do have another demo. I'm going to show you a few more makes because you just can't get enough of how beautiful these are. Look at that one. A little bit different there from Jess. She's just used um, two. Yeah, it looks like um, A and B. A and B. Because it's the flower bases and the flower detail. Yeah, It almost looks a little bit pop arty. It does, doesn't it? I love the colours that she's used there. Oh my word, look at this one. That one's oh, really nice. Gosh, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? That one's from Samantha. Uh, this one here is from Kim. A little bit peachy uh, she's used on that one the uh, pink petal blush canary yellow uh, leafy green khaki and cocoa bean oh and tangerine gorgeous look at this one as well this one's from magda loving the purple and the green together there it's stunning oh look at this from samantha that is amazing <gasps> how gorgeous does that look and that's just using one mask that's the detail it mask. is isn't it yeah is it, I think, is it embossed onto black yes. and then fussy yeah. cut? Yeah, it's like a, a gold glittery embossing powder. And then just use the um, mask C for the background. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at this one from Sharon. It looks like um, like an army one, like a proper camouflage butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> an army butterfly, doesn't it? You know what I mean, don't it you? It looks a little bit like those really, really pretty moths. Yeah, or an army one. Or an army one, yeah. <laughs> And then this one again from Magda. Look at the colours. Totally different colourways to yeah. what we've done today. So, so, but I mean, if I just hold up all three of those, I mean, they don't even look like the same mask, no. do they? 
absolutely crazy i love the background on this one as well that um magda's created like that just almost like a halo yeah within the watercolor it's, it's really it looks nice. like that's been done with like a proper watercolor wash doesn't it it's amazing yeah. absolutely gorgeous okay stacy third and final demo how fast has that gone i know third and final demo which means third and final card blank yes so this is our i want to say six by six six by six so what are we going to do because this is a five by five mask how are we going to fill this page and how are we going to use something different that's not prism inks okay so i've used our tarnish nesting dies the largest one is number one so i've cut that out for this mat i've placed my mask in the center and make sure that it is in the center and it'll make sure it'll make sense why and what we're going to do is we're going to draw around using our black <sighs> Ooh. And we're going to go so anything along the edges where there's a straight line is going to join so don't okay. draw around that yeah i'm with you yeah yeah so we're gonna i won't do all of this but i'll show you because it's so we're going to do all that then we are going to go to our second mask wait no no we're going to go to c um make sure that the so I've I've done it where my A is always in the top corner. Yeah. For alignment. So let's find C. And the way that you can line this up, obviously you can put your pencil marks in if you want to, if that makes it easier. But you can actually see through the mask. Oh yeah. And you can align oh, perfect. the shape. Yeah. Can you see that on screen? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can carry on. And do your leaves which is why you're missing out um a mask because you want your flowers and then you want your leaves not you don't want the detail yeah 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 yeah. and you can carry on doing all that like this um once you've done all that go in with your what's this i'm just really excited for when you bring in the one that you've done so every know, time you yeah. bring another mask and i'm like <gasps> <laughs> so max d and the only bit that you need on Mass D is the flower centers. Okay. The bit that on the packaging is cocoa bean. And with that bit, you're going to actually color all of that in. Okay. So you've got those solid areas. Nice. Now you obviously want to fill the edges. So go, obviously I would do all of Mass A and then all of Mass B, but I yeah. just wanted to show you. Move that all the way across. Align. Look how easy that see. is. There's like tiny little dots where you where you've drawn and they're gonna overlap so you can carry on with your drawing. And you can see how it, it builds it up. And then what you're gonna do, because obviously you've done it in the middle, you're gonna do top, bottom, right, left. And if there's any corners, don't worry, miss in, I mean, just go in and do any any shape yeah, just to fill just those to gaps fill it in. then once you've done all that <gasps> is this it this is like the final reveal yeah oh my goodness oh my word look at that which looks amazing <gasps> as it is it almost looks like a stamp <gasps> so i've drawn on the back which way up it is so i know where my a is always going to be in this corner yeah now what we're going to do is take our third one so you're skipping a one yeah put that into the center because the reason why you wanted your mask in the middle because this die if i put it on here is ever so slightly smaller uh, than the actual design yeah so we're going to cut this now and it does actually fit through your midi because i did this at home on my cuddle bug because yeah the little yeah yeah, yeah yeah even you the mean green one, machine. Your number one will will fit yeah. through. So you don't need a big one. Give it a good push. Everyone's like, oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Bex would had the handle off it and everything last week. She was, I'm blaming Bex then. Yeah, we yeah, that's fine. Right. Hopefully that's cut. So Keep both pieces. Definitely. 
um, take this off carefully because obviously as we know when you put your low tack tape through the die cutting machine it can be a little bit more tacky. So now you've got a frame and you've got your inner bit. So we're going to put the frame to one side for a minute. Are you coming back to that? We're coming back to Are it, yeah. Are you? <gasps> yeah. I'm excited. So now you've got this piece and we're going to colour this piece. Okay. So we're going to go back to our mask. But what you probably want to do is secure this. Now, you've also got edge to edge colour. I did this just by holding it, but what I'm going to do is fold a piece oh, like this. Oh, I see. Just to give it a little bit more stability. Yeah. yeah. Then we have make sure that our A is in this corner and then realign this like this. It's really easy because you've already drawn around it, which is why you wanted your mask in the center as well. Secure this. Again, I, I didn't secure it when I did my first one. It's because you're a rebel. I know. I, well, I was rushing this morning. because You're I a didn't. rebel and you've got the skills. And this then we're going to go why. in with our brush markers again. Oh! So this one is 092. It's like a, quite a nice sort of lilac-y colour. And again, you can see I am not taking any sort of care with my colouring. Because... <laughs> Slap it <yeah>. down. <laughs> you're actually going to layer the, the colour. Okay. If that makes sense. Yes. So you're actually not going to see most of it. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm where, I'm following you now. I know where you're going. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're not going to do it all. We're just going to do a few flowers so I can show you how that colour layers up. So we need our next mask. I mean, just Is that looks one? amazing, doesn't it? B. So B in that corner again. Line up that design. And what you want to do is find sort of straight lines that you can actually align. And once it's in place, you'll actually see everything kind of just it almost clicks without the sound. Yeah. It's great. Uh, Viv has said, and I have to 100% agree, how good is Stacey explaining things? She's wonderful, isn't she? So because you've got those almost like spiky centers, I would go, I would color the way the spikes go. Yeah. So then you actually get the colour in those areas. Because otherwise, if you colour like this, you're going to miss yeah. some of it. And I, I think some of the spiky bits might catch on your pen as well. Yeah. So it's just easier, isn't it, doing that? Oh, I can see how good this is looking already, Stacey. <gasps> so look at that. It is very, very quick colouring. And the finished results make you... It almost looks like you've coloured it by hand. But obviously, you've, you've used your masks. And could you, if you didn't want to use your brush markers, could you go in with your ink still? You can, yeah. Do, inks, uh, do pencils. This, yeah. yeah. Um, so, that's the darker one. So, my, my darker purple was 088. And then I'm going to go in with 097, like a bit of a khaki green, for the leaves and obviously all the stems and everything like that. And then speed this along again. I'm going to take this off. And we're going to go in with our final one. And remember our final one, you have already drawn the centres. So you can actually align your mask with those flower centres that you've already drawn. So you don't need the two colours because you've already done um, the centres. Yeah. So then the 026 is just the darker green for this. And the good thing is the brush markers are water-based, so it doesn't matter if you draw all over it because you can just wipe them clean exactly like you can with your Prism inks. And you start getting this effect. Oh, that looks so good. So then once you've done all of that... So that wasn't even the reveal, the black and white one. There's another reveal. <laughs> There's another reveal. <gasps> oh my word. So you now have... Oh, look at that! Like a, a coloured panel that actually aligns... <sighs> Perfectly. Oh my goodness me. So we're going to bring back our card blank if I can find it. Yes, I can. Now what I would do is probably use one of the purples or the greens and just go around the edge of that card blank just yeah. to lift it a little bit. But because we are quite tight on time. We're not tight on time, Stacey. Are we you not? do know what you need to do. You're, absolute, you're absolutely fine. 
I just thought it was like dinner time by now. No, you are right. I'm yeah. having a great time. Yeah, no, we're, we're here for this days. <laughs> Do not rush. So, let's make sure that we know where this is going because we want it in the centre. Let's pull that out. So, we've put that down. Let's go in with our purple and you can actually just draw along here oh that's a good idea which lifts it rather than you trying to i know it's very very subtle i think this is actually the lighter purple we go all the way around then we're gonna put the foam pads on here and make sure that it's in the right way it's like a jigsaw plus you've also got your <laughs> really big arrow that's obvious and we're going to use foam pads for this layer just so it lifts it from that black, black frame. Oh, it's going to look so good. And I didn't even check which way which way round my car blank is, so it could be right, it could be wrong. It looks I know right. that I've got the score line on the right way. That's so. that's the main thing. <laughs> as yeah. long as it's at the, the top or the, the left-hand side, you're good. So we're going to stick that in. So you can see how that just pops instantly from that background and what you could do if you wanted to put this on a single layer of foam pads and then put this on a double layer oh, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. get even more height and dimension and then i asked natalie this morning i was like what sentiment should i put on this because i don't know can't decide and she said what about the um oh that's a good idea just my type just because of that black and white yeah frame. so um i think we're gonna go with quite a long one so it fits in the middle and then we're going to go with for a special mother because ah. I've soon got Mother's Day coming up. It is. It's uh, it's next week, isn't it? No, it's so fast. It's ridiculous. This year is just after, flying. After our like January that was like twenty five weeks long, <laughs> we're definitely <laughs> we are speeding through the rest of the year now, aren't we? And I'm running out of foam pad my chunky foam pads so we'll use that's this that's going to be fine one. though see this is a really quick demo um, you can it's jazz this up it's gorgeous though I love this so much you could colour around the edge of that you could do whatever you want you could add um, gemstones all the way around as well if you wanted to but that oh, it's beautiful just pops it out it's absolutely stunning Midge has just said the lady is a genius love yes we agree we absolutely agree she's incredible isn't she and as Michelle said she's just like Kat at accepting the compliments she just brushes over them and moves on very very <laughs> swiftly <laughs> um but they, they, yeah she's just uh, she's just lovely. Oh, thanks everyone. she is she is everyone has loved loved love love having you in here today um and I do think it is just really good to for a very small short time of space of time get into space Stacey's brain see where she's going with stuff and and her thoughts because obviously you must have ideas when you're designing as to what the finished card's going to look like yeah I, we start with what the finished card yeah. is going to be and then design sort of backwards. backwards so it's really nice to kind of make the cards that you had in mind um most of the time it's me going to the, the creative team going I want this card and I want that card and <laughs> you've not done this right <laughs> so now it is it's really good to be able to see you just creating your vision it's wonderful yeah. we love it we absolutely love it um, but that is it from us today um tomorrow we are over on hobby maker um this hasn't been updated either because <laughs> uh, i'm not sure they're my times i think no. i think i'm on at two four and seven uh with the brand new stained glass Ooh. oh my goodness right if you love the little book you are gonna love this collection absolutely oh my word it is stunning you know when i said on friday my favorite collection is yet to come it's tomorrow i'm so <laughs> excited uh, and we do have a brand new magazine launching as well it's super exciting that will be uh, on hobby maker tomorrow at two four and seven um and but then over here tomorrow that's right. is that right uh, yeah yeah that's right Super Savers, whoop, 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 whoop. Um, they will be with you here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So thank you all so much for your company today. Uh, big thank you to Stacey for your incredible demos. Obviously, thanks to Lisa for looking after us. Uh, and we will see you all tomorrow.